you're going to come to this page which is going to be the main page and it's going to look something like this and you're going to scroll down oh about halfway and you'll go to the download section which is where I'm at right now uh, three files two files are very important the first file being important is going to be the assistant software and this happens to be version 1.2 and you need to download that so I'm just simply going to click the download and I'm going to click the save option and it's going to download now I'm going to click open folder because what I want to do is right here is the software that it just downloaded now previous to starting my little video here I did create a folder called NASA files so I'm just going to click on this folder that I just downloaded and I'm gonna bring it up here and I'm gonna drop it in my NASA files folder uh, also we're gonna close this now and I'm gonna go back and download the second part which is not really important but you might find it helpful and that is the user's manual so you can see I've downloaded that now I'm not even gonna worry about it I just wanted you to know that you can download that uh, because the next thing that I need to grab off of this website is going to be the very important thing and that is the USB driver and you're going to find that over here on the right and it's going to have uh, the 32-bit and the 64-bit in the same download so we're going to click that to download it and again I'm going to click save and then I'm going to click open folder because it's already saved it and here the file is so I'm going to take that and also put it in my NASA files folder now if I click on my NASA files folder you can see that I have two files in here I have the NASA assistant and I have the NASA USB driver so at this point I need to unzip the USB driver we'll start with that one so I'm going to double click it and now the WinZip program is going to uh, open up and I'm going to use the evaluation version and now I have the files listed here but I need to uh, extract these so what I'll do is um, and here's where it gets confusing so once I've highlighted everything I go up here and click on unzip and now I'm going to unzip it into a folder and my folder is going to be called uh, NASA files and then click unzip and now I should have a folder in here and I do and it's called DJI USB if I click that and then I click on the 64-bit uh, so I'm going to click a double click that folder and I'm going to click driver setup now it's going to install this driver and I'm getting the information to do that so I'm just okay going to pay attention to this part of the screen right here obviously I'm not able to read that nor I know you can either but this is very important because what happened was that whenever I tried to install the driver I guess the computer didn't need the driver so therefore it didn't install it and that's why I got the message that I have on the screen right now and like I say obviously we can't see that but if you'll notice in the next uh, few minutes of the video you're going to see this same screen but down here in this area right here it's going to have something very different it's going to have something to the effect of uh, the driver's been updated because right now it doesn't say the driver's been updated there's uh, a little bit of text here and I did not read it but um, at any point the reason for this was I think because the computer didn't need the driver so therefore it didn't install it but as you're going to find out in the next few minutes of my little tutorial here uh, because I've hooked the system up the the driver is required 
and so therefore the driver was able to install and it installed correctly because as you're going to find out here in the next few minutes not only did it install but the driver worked so now I will continue with the video prompts and now I believe that is done so I'm going to close this window and I'm going to close this window and now I'm going to go to the NASA assistant and I'm going to unzip that so we're going to use evaluation version and here I'm going to simply click at all of this again and highlight it and click on unzip and I'm going to again put it in the NASA folder so we click unzip. Now I have all of that in there. This is the executable file which I'm going to right click and I'm going to click on copy. And now I'm going to shrink this and get to my desktop. And there I am going to right click and click paste and it looks like I already have that in here. So, because I've already installed it, but you can see here that it gives me the installer. So, if I double click that and say yes, now it's going to go ahead and install it. So, I'm not going to do anything, I'm just going to let this continue. So, we're going to say English, and we're going to say next and it's wanting to put it where it did before and that's fine you can see there I've already check marked the uh, create quick launch icon uh, you may have to check that like I say I've already done this so that may be something I, I didn't have to do a second time uh, now I'm going to click on launch DJI NASA assistant and click finish now the screen should come up with the NASA Assistant uh, software. At this point you just click the word skip and it's going to be up. Now notice that it says MC output on. I'm taking it that the MC stands for motor control output being on. Uh, one other thing that I did learn about and that is these two lights here the blue one and the orange one if the blue one is blinking that means that it is working and connecting to the controller at this point what I need to do is go ahead and turn on my transmitter and then plug in the controller uh, for the unit and once that is up then I will plug in the cord to the computer and if I've done everything correctly, uh, this should work out. Now I'm going to lay the camera down and first turn on the transmitter and then I'm going to plug in my controller here. You can see I'm getting a series of lights and I should wind up with a yellow blinking light and that is correct so all that is working perfectly so far. The software C still is not active here so uh, now I'm going to plug in the USB. Now you heard the, the tone there maybe. And uh, it does not appear that I am connected correctly because I still do not have the green light. Now let me investigate as to why this is. I'm going to go back and see if I install that driver. So let's go to download, let's go to my NASA, let's go to USB driver, let's go to 64 bit, let's go to driver install, and let's see if this goes through. Okay. Ah! Maybe that's what I need to do. I needed to have the system plugged up. So we're going to go ahead and install the driver and this will take a moment or two notice here it says device updated 
as where before it said no device was found or needed uh, or something whatever it said okay I'm gonna click finish and now that I can close this window and now you can see that I have the blue light blinking and it's the MC which I believe is motor controller output is off so now if I click and also have all of these options available to me so if I click on my transmitter now I can tell you ahead of time my transmitter had already been calibrated uh, using a buddy's computer and um, you can see here now if I move the rudder stick the rudder is moving if I move the elevator the elevator is moving and the aileron the aileron is moving so I have the system set up um, it is actually working now and uh, the biggest issue I've had was getting that driver installed but uh, I was just able to show you how I did that